Let's wake them up then, shall we? The year is 2027. It's a time of great innovation. And technological advancement. It's also a time of chaos and conspiracy. The year is 2029, two years after the events of Human Revolution and the Org Incident, an event in which mechanically augmented humans became uncontrollable and lethally violent. What is the appropriate response? I would never... You tried to kill me. At what point will governments consider the idea of segregation? Unbeknownst to the public, the affected augmented received implanted technology designed to control them by the shadowy Illuminati. They've worked from the shadows for years, shaping the future, manipulating lives, controlling information. Innocents have died as they play their game. Happening is unnatural. They were playing God, but people were scared of electricity. And where would the world be without What them? happens if this technology falls into the wrong hands? Diseases or viruses that could wipe out the human race. The Illuminati successfully concealed the truth behind rumours and disinformation, while the augmented are now outcasts from normal humans in an era of mechanical apartheid. My kind? You sound just like them! In a narrative that is strikingly similar to real life with the migrant crisis in Europe, segregation and racial tensions grow between populations of orgs and humans. With the term apartheid used as a plot mechanism to insert a new ideology on top of an already reinforced false definition of what the word apartheid means, that separation is evil and unity is good. The word apartheid has been brainwashed into our minds to be negatively associated with racism rather than what it actually means, and that is separateness or the state of being apart. This by itself is not negative. In fact, the Bible is in full support of the nations or ethnos being separate Here in the game, the mechanical apartheid, or separateness, is portrayed as a bad thing, something as socially revolting as between races of men in history. This is done in order to implant the ideology that human augmentation and transhumanism should be accepted as normal. Whatever Satan wants mankind to do and accept, he makes the opposite of that thing appear so evil that your desire is then for the very thing he wants you to do. Instead of having people come up to me or give me like the sincere look of, oh, you've lost your arm, they go, oh, wow, this is fantastic. And it may, I just like to see people have a smile on their face about it. That's what it's all about for if me. If the outcome is transhumanism is to be accepted, then Satan will make rejecting it evil. Here we are spoon-fed the idea that racial bias against bionically enhanced humans is negative as the Orgs are eventually hunted down and put into concentration camps. That bombing today. The Augmented are suffering a genocide. It begins with demonizing us, treating us as less than human, exiling us so we are forgotten, and then exterminating us. Deus Ex, Deus meaning God, Ex meaning away from, Put them together and you have away from God. Away from God and a human revolution takes place. The word human itself is a combination of two words, man and hue. Hue is a word used in ancient times and it means God. So when you read the word human, it means God man. This is why the Bible refers to mankind as simply man, a 
because he is most definitely not God or a God. No man shall ever be God, but there was one, one God that became man. He dwelt among us, walked on the earth, and the word was made flesh. He lived and died for our sins so that we could be forgiven and on the third day after death he rose again resurrected and as he lives we also shall live.